Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you an example of custom column in the table based on the article that we published on Laravel Daily Com. So Filament is full of table columns like text column and other columns, but what if you want to create quite a custom one which doesn't appear in the filament officially. For example, a progress bar. So here's an example written by my colleague David, and I will show you another example in live mode soon. But what you need to know is, for example, if you want to display column value in this way, and you have a progress field in the database as a number, but you want to show that as a percentage, you can generate a column. And most importantly, that column could be reusable in other tables. So it's not a one-time action. So what do you do? You do make table column, there's an artisan command for that. And then you have a blade for that, which you fill with whatever you want. In this case, you have a progress bar class with width and get state is actually the value that you will pass to that column. And then if you need some custom CSS there, then you need to define custom theme in filament. I talked about that already in other video on this channel, and I will link that in the description below. But basically, you make a theme, you add a CSS for it, and then that CSS applies. And then in your resource, in the filament resource in the table, you can use your column, which would automatically render the blade that you created. To compile everything, you need to still run npm run build because you have new CSS styles, and this could be the result. Now I'll try to do something similar for another project. For example, in customer CRM table, you want the email to be clickable. So generate a link for that. So let's do exactly that. Currently, we have text column email, but let's run an artisan command php artisan make table column email column, and it would generate a file in app tables columns email column. This will be empty and for a reason this is fine and you would have the blade file that you need to fill in. By default that blade file is on resources views tables columns and then column and get state is the value that you would pass to that. So what we're doing here is provide a link mail to for example and then we repeat that get state here and something like this. Then in the resource of that customer resource in the list in the table column list we replace the text column with email column which would be automatically added on top by my php storm make email and we comment out the older version we refresh the table so this is how it looks now we refresh and we do have even different font and it is clickable with the email and as a proof of that let's also add class underline here we refresh and we have the underlined emails which are clickable. So yeah, this is another quick example of table column that you may reuse elsewhere in your projects. If you want to get more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel. It's still going daily, Monday to Friday, and see you guys in those other videos.